Happy day, friends. It is a busy, 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 busy day over at the new house. And I say it like that because literally there is so much going on. So I wanna give you guys a quick rundown of what is happening today because it's probably gonna be a little bit of footage here, a little bit of footage there, like all over the place. So at the house, they are totally stripping off the roof and putting a new roof on. The stairs are still underway. The basement has finished framing and they have almost finished electrical. Today the carpets are being completely ripped out of the house. Um, there is so much going on. Austin has been over there. It feels like almost nonstop. I've been with the girls all the time. We've been having fun, but honestly, like there are parts of me that wish I could be over at the house just because it's so exciting, everything that's going on right now. But Austin and I decided today we are gonna go on a little hike with the girls, get outside, get some fresh air. So that is very important for us to do today. Um, I know that the girls have been lacking one-on-one -on -one time with either of the either of us because I am always with them right now. It's been a morning of errands. I'll be honest, it's been constant calls, running to different stores, the bank, like all the things. Don't really have much to show for it other than a absolutely cram-packed, I was gonna say Suburban, we don't drive a Suburban, Subaru. We've got our tub for our basement right here, got lights, like all the things. Literally, I am a little bit scooched forward, but this tub could not have fit any more perfect in this car. Man, it has been a morning and I'm about to run out of gas, so I gotta get going. Holy crap. Ooh, 517 a gallon. <laughs> Kids are gonna be walking to school. <laughs> We're running electrical downstairs. I'm actually doing work in the house for once. But I wanted to show you guys the roof and what they've done. I'd say about 80% of the shingles are off the roof. There you are. Lots being done. They'll also be redoing the gutters as well. By the time we move in, this house should feel pretty solid. Now time to hammer in some more outlet receptacles. All right, fast forward about three hours. Uh, we just finished up for the day. We ran a bunch of electrical. Um, I know it, like, on video, I don't think it would have translated very well anyway, and I was super busy. I was wanting to be more help than, uh, than anything, because it's my buddy that's helping me run electrical, so I wanted to be a good helping hand and not worry so much about filming. Um, but we got a ton done. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are a ton of boxes all around me. Um, these ones will have to wait until plumbing is done, just because this is like, we're mapping this out for a future kitchen just in case. We don't really plan on ever having a kitchen. It's just one of those things where it's a heck of a lot easier to do beforehand, before everything's framed and, and sheet rough than it is afterwards. So this part, we have to wait a little bit longer just because Plumbing needs to come out, run their stuff, and then they, we can finish electrical there. And then comes sheetrocking, which is just wild. This basement is flying by. Crazy time right now. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, but I am so thankful for all my helpful friends, man. Literally. I don't know how I did it, but I've got the best friends in the world. All right, well, the rest of those guys continue working on the house. Uh, we're gonna go on a little bit of a family adventure. It's been a crazy week and I have not been able to spend much time with my family. So we're gonna get out, enjoy some nature together and go get some frozen yogurt if they're good. Which they've been arguably not good <laughs> the last few days. Well, this is a steep AF. <laughs> I'm gonna get a hamstring workout. One loose grip and they are <laughs> flying down this hill. <laughs> it's be fun to go down on a bike. Oh, this would be, yeah. Till you crashed. <laughs> you girls are hungry already. We literally just <laughs> were here for five minutes, not even. Idea was it to bring us Mommy's food. knees can't handle this. I'm gonna need a knee replacement after the hill. <laughs> it's okay, we're learning. I'm honestly. That's, that's part of figuring out new hiking trails and where to go is you have to experience it and realize if it's good or not. It's actually like really nice here. It's steep, so. I mean, stroller friendly, yes, but I don't know level, if I call this level, e friendly. level expert stroller friendly. If I fall, this thing's over. <laughs> you better Get not let on. go. 
Time to explore. You want food? You're gonna explore the lunch box? <laughs> Okay, I'll get you a snack. You guys are just a bunch of hobbits. An exploring snack, right? <laughs> you need energy to explore. Would you like a banana or a cracker? This is ridiculous. Okay, and what about you, Dad? Would you like an exploring snack too? <laughs> ridiculous, huh? Okay. All right, I'll get you girls an exploring cracker. Raising a bunch of hobbits. First breakfast, second breakfast, first snack, second snack. An exploring snack. cracker for you, and an exploring cracker for you. All right, let's go, kids. Let's explore. Say, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. That is a raccoon slide. Yep, big raccoon slide. Only for raccoons, though. Don't get any ideas, Paige. <laughs> okay. Paige, where are you going? <laughs> you doing sled pushes? Paige, let me see your snack. What else you got? You got your hiking snacks? Got some good energy right there. Some good energy. You having fun? We saw a sign that said, warning, cougar, and now I'm paranoid. <laughs> yeah, apparently lots of middle-aged women out here looking hot. <laughs> There's one of them. I am not of cougar age. You take that back. I don't know. You got two kids. You stop it. <laughs> Just says she's been training her whole life for this moment. Train the past couple of years for this moment. You guys have no idea how steep this is. It's freaking steep, boys. <laughs> oh my word, this is a steep hike. Keep going, Mama. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, that is a steep hike. Oh my gosh. I'm working good. Just just vlogging. I'm gonna have a booty the size of a boulder back in this hike. <laughs> Do you like it? Whoa, wait a second. Was it delicious? Yeah. We got a pink and vanilla. What? What? I want to eat that cake. You want to eat some cake? What? I don't think you need any more cake. Look at your eyes already. <laughs> They're making me so nervous, man. <laughs> it's weird because I feel like our house is doing, it's like almost going backwards before it gets better, so. But I know in the long run, this is all gonna be way for the better. This is literally going to be our forever home. So, I mean, forever home's kind of like a hard word for me to agree to because things change, requirements change, needs change. You never know, but we are planning for this to be our home for a very, very long time. And so, wanting to make sure that this house is protected in all the right ways. <sighs> Feels good though. Oh wow. What's happening? Man with big muscles moving weight. So satisfying, man. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's disgusting. What happened here? Whoa. That is probably a dog. Dog? Yeah. Going hard. Holy crap. <laughs> this is wild. So apparently, this is all rotted, so we're going to need to get that replaced at some point, but. Honestly, these floors look better than I was expecting because apparently they had a dog that just went the rounds in here and 
So to only see really that one spot, that's that's pretty good. I think we can get that fixed pretty easily. I need to watch my step because there are nail strips all over the floor, which is why we have not allowed the girls even inside. This looks like it's getting real close to being ready to be stained, which is so exciting. That's gonna, that's probably the thing I'm most looking forward to right now. This is wild. I am so happy though. So happy to see that our bathroom does not have carpet anymore. I'm so excited. I'm all ready for bed, you guys. So, except, just <laughs> accept it. <laughs> We're gonna sit down and watch a show. Mr. Sure. Hardbutt over here wanted to try to play cool and not make a big deal. That's not a big deal. He's got an injury on his oh, hand, you gosh. guys. Put your hand here. It's Look not at that it. big a deal. It's just bruising. Well, but it's swollen. Yeah. Like, hold it sideways. Like, I mean, you can definitely see the discoloration coming in. Yeah, it's like puffy and swollen all in there. The funny thing is, is right before I had this injury happened, I told Kelly I've never had good luck with Sawzalls. <sighs> and then literally this happened. And he was like, what'd you do? Cut your finger off? And I was like, no, but I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> So no, I was taking down some of the lighting fixtures, and it's easy, it's just to cut them out. Well, one of the bulbs had already broken in the lighting fixture that I was cutting down, and I thought there was a wire in it that, like, once you cut through it, it would just hang, fall and hang. And so I cut through it, and I don't know how it mapped out or what, but it cut off, and then it fell, and it only fell like a foot, but the... The things are like porcelain, so they're kind of heavy. And the glass from the bulb just went right into my hand. And I thought, like, from all the blood, I was like, I'm for sure going to need stitches. But really? then when I saw how tiny it was, I'm like, it must have I know, have hit. it's just a tiny little thing. It must have hit. And that's a mole, right? Yeah, this so is a mole. So it's just this it's thing. It's just this thing. So it had to have hit, like, a main vein in my hand. The first and hopefully only injury of the whole renovation process. Yeah, I'm not doing any more work. <laughs> Just You're too much of a liability. <laughs> I don't even know where this vlog was today. All over the Neither place, do I. probably. But that's that's probably how our. To recap, is be. roofing uh, was day two. Mm -hmm. Electrical was day two. Mm -hmm. Carpets were removed. Yeah. Uh, sanding railing was on like day three or four. Something like that. So it's been like. So, a lot. So steady. On top of that, I had the project manager out for the basement, planning for plumbing. I didn't even get to talk to you about that. I'll have to talk to you yeah, about that after. So, the weird thing is, is like our house looks like a molten bird right now, but I feel like we're at that cusp where Different after point. this, it's going to start really looking, looking good. good. Yeah. It's so. going to start getting painted in two days. It's all happening. That's so. all that matters. It's happening. It's and a lot. Hopefully we'll be able to move in two weeks. That's kind of the goal. Two weeks. And somehow we still have to like. I still have to pack. pack up this place. We haven't even started. We need to get a trailer over here so I can start p packing stuff up. Yeah. Somebody told me in the comments of the last video, and this was a wonderful tip, so thank you. They said, every time you're at the house, just take one box. Well, I can't take boxes yeah, until can't. it's painted. That's true. But they also said, and whenever you're there, just like clean one drawer, or clean one shelving thing or cabinet or something and I was like that is really smart because trying to wipe down all the cabinets but at the same time like can we really do that until they're painted are they just gonna get dirty anyways yeah I, I, I think, don't know I think we're kind of I think just never mind sitting. that was a really good tip but unfortunately I can't use that it's advice not applied to our scenario <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog hopefully you are liking the updates of all the house stuff there's a lot going on right now. Hey, um, we at least remembered to sign out this round. We did. We so. remembered to sign out today. We did not remember the last time too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll have to uh, Our days are have some patience together. with us over the next few weeks, you guys. It is busy. Um, but, but thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye, friends. Bye. Love you.